Hello, this is Jill at Ingvid, and today we have a lesson on the pronunciation of words containing the letters OW. Okay, so there are two different ways of pronouncing these words, and some are pronounced both ways and spelt the same, but they mean different things. There are other words which are only pronounced in one way and not the other. So let's just have a look at these examples. Okay, so um, OW in the word, um, it's either the vowel sound OW, which I've spelled A double O, OW, like when somebody hits you, you say OW, OW, that hurt, OW. Or at least in English, we say it that way. Okay. Um, so, ow is one of the pronunciations. And o, like when you're surprised, o, o, I didn't know that, o. So, o is the other vowel sound. Okay. So, first of all, let's look at the three words where there are both. So, ow. You can have bow and you can have bow. So bow is when you go like this. You, you sort of bend over politely. Bow. Usually men do that. Bow. But there's also something called a bow, um, which is if you have a ribbon in your hair or something like that, and you tie it in a bow, you do this. Or if you have shoes with laces, you tie your shoelaces in a bow. Okay, so we have bow, bow, and bow. Right, okay. Next one. Row and row. So a row is um, a lot of noise. Oh, there's a row going on out there. That's noisy. People are shouting. There's a row. Uh, it could be an argument between people. They're having a row. The neighbors next door, you can hear their voices. They're having a row. They're disagreeing about something. So that's row. But row is either... Um, when things are in lines like that, that's a line or a row. Or you can also, if you're in a boat with oars like this, you row, you row the boat. You're doing this with the wooden oars to get through the water, to move through the water. That's also to row the boat. And it's a rowing boat. Okay. Next one, um, sow and sow. So a sow is a female pig. That's pretty much the only meaning for it. A female pig is a sow. Okay. Um, to sow, S-O-W, is to put seeds in the ground for them to grow. So you can link sow with grow if it helps you remember. Put the seeds in the soil, they will grow. Sow the seeds, they will grow. It's not the same as this spelling of sow, S-E-W, which is with a needle and thread. If I'm sewing on a button, which has come off, that's sow with an E. So it's not that. But it's the same pronunciation. Okay. Right, so those are the three pairs which have both pronunciations. And then we have two lists of um, words which just have one. So the owl vowel sound. We have brow, which is the same as your forehead is your brow. And you've got eyebrows. These are eyebrows and this is your brow. Okay. Cow, the animal that you get milk from, the cow. How, 
How do you do something? How or how are you? Now, at this moment, now. Uh, plow. Um, this is the American spelling. Um, the English spelling is slightly different, but it's the same pronunciation. We spell it in the UK P L O U G H, but the American spelling is plow, P L O W. So that's another one. To plow a field to churn up the soil. Again, maybe if you're sowing seeds in, in agriculture. Okay, so the plow is the equipment that you use to cut into the soil often pulled by horses or it may be um, a tractor or something with an engine nowadays. Okay, plow. Uh, this word pow is a sort of um, like a comic book. Pow, pow. When people hit each other, um, you get this um, pow. It sort of represents the sound of someone being hit or something exploding, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, prow is the front of a ship, the prow of a ship. And vow is another word for a promise. To vow to do something is to promise to do something. Okay. So those are the owls there. And then the O list from here, uh, a crow is a bird, a big black bird, crow. Flow, flow, water flows, liquid flows, flow. Uh, glow is to do with light shining. We have a lot of lights here today which are glowing quite brightly, lighting us all up. <laughs> so that's glow. Or you can have a fire burning and it creates a kind of a red glow. So anything to do with light. Grow, when the, you put the seeds in the ground and they grow. Okay. Know, to know something. Low is down here, the opposite of high. Low. Mow, another agricultural word or in your own garden. If you have grass, the grass grows, you have to cut it. So you mow the grass, you cut it to a, a low level to keep it tidy. So to mow the grass, mow the lawn, and you have a machine called a lawn mower. Okay. Slow, the opposite of quick, slow. And tow, T-O-W, is if a car has broken down and you have to get it to the garage for repairing somehow, um, somebody can tow it for you. They will tie a rope to it from their own vehicle and pull it behind to take it to the garage where it can be repaired. So that's to tow a car. Okay, to pull it along with a rope because the engine isn't working or you've run out of petrol, something like that. Okay, so um, there we are, the two pronunciations, ow and o, oh, and I hope also this has helped to expand your vocabulary. And uh, so if you'd like to go to the website, ingvid.com, there's a quiz there for you to do connected with this lesson and uh, hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.